Something like 70 years ago, this was Volkswagen's idea of a pickup truck. Punch it. Punch it. Let's go. <laughs> Fast. And how? But noisy, no. This humble, rusted hulk has been given a new life as an EV, electric vehicle. I have to confess, I haven't stopped smiling <laughs> since I got, I've gotten behind the wheel of this thing. Oh, God, it's a great confession. Michael testing. Bream is a man who embraces both the past and the future. He loves classic cars, but only to a point, so he retrofits them to connect to the 21st century. So a 1954 Volkswagen, now with yeah. this electric motor, yeah. what kind of top speed are we talking about? Well, this will do over 100 miles an hour. His is a hot rod shop with not a piston or carburetor in sight. Wrecked Teslas often provide the batteries and motors. And while gearheads and grease junkies may find this heretical, the results are remarkable. We're not here to make the car environmentally friendly. We're here to make it drivable. We're actually here to save the cars. Environmentalism is just a cool byproduct. The electric motors give a giant power kick to whatever they are put in. Like this dune buggy. The reporter on board, while aware that his life was in jeopardy, could not contain his glee. Unbelievable. Bream has a garage full of cars to convert and a backlog he figures will take him five years to work through. We just like to have fun, you know, and, and take care of things that have taken care of us for so many years. Gas is dead, Bream likes to say, and green, while nice, also happens to mean go. It really feels cool. Harry Smith, NBC News, San Marcos, California. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.